And now, this week's scare mail. Uh, we got it right in here. Oh, pardon me, lady. Excuse me. Yeah, no. uh, this week's scare mail. And don't you forget uh, to send your songs, your jokes, your poems, and we'll show the, uh, the address in just a moment if I can keep up the accent with my mouth. First of all, thanks to our comedy writers on SYT, Rich Coes from Northwestern, Count Yogurt in Naperville, Neil Hendrickson and Streeter, and of course, Monica Marco from Barrington. Yes, they're Monica's letter this week. Typical blackmail letter, and Monica is celebrating an anniversary. She says, uh, thus far, I've only missed SYT two times in the whole year I've been watching it. And what I'm trying to say is, I've sent you a letter every week for a year, and you owe me four dollars postage. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Monica. That's funny. Also sent me a little button, which I'll, I'll place proudly on my body somewhere. Also, thanks to Anne Retzler, who says she watches the program, and she can't believe she watches the whole thing. Hello to Ruthie, yes, the Countess, it. from Gary, Indiana. Frank Miller, listen, Frank is a body of Svengulis. He's going to break this weekend the world record for selling newspapers. He's going to stay awake for 35 hours starting tomorrow morning at his newsstand at the northwest corner of Armitage and Pulaski. So go buy a paper for him and good luck. Frank Miller, you're weird. Okay, who else? Quickly. <laughs> Hello to Debbie and Patty in South Bend, the girls at Queen of Peace and Mother Macaulay High, Jim Deeble, and the trombone section at Fenton High and Bensonville, or is it the Fenton section? I don't know. Also, hello to Willowbrook High School in Villa Park, and hello to Ralph Benhart in Wheaton. Good luck to all the girls at the Immaculate Heart of Mary High School having a big panorama tonight and tomorrow. Kathy and Judy Alexis of McHenry, and everybody in Bokegan, Niles, Wheeling, Country Club Hills, Crown Point, Indiana, and the Svenguli Fan Club in Dubuque, Iowa. But then what else have they got to do in Dubuque, Iowa? Don't you forget, send your songs, your jokes, your poems, your potato pancakes, and your White Sox opening day tickets to this address, SYT. WFLD TV, 300 North State, and Markham Scare Mail. Okay? Huh? Yeah. Okay, lots of you have been writing and asking for one of these pictures of Sven Gulli. Well, we'd love to send them out, but unfortunately, we can do that. Our staff is rather short handed. In fact, we work with our skeleton crew. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we do give them away at my live appearances. I'll tell you more about those in the meantime. In the meantime, actually, would you watching at home like a picture of Svenguli right now? Yeah, huh? You know that. Okay. Everybody watching, run, get your camera right now at your homes. Go ahead. Just go get your camera. No, you got to go faster. It's a short show. Hurry up now. Go get your camera and bring it back here. We'll show you. Okay. Have you got your camera now, huh? Oh, sure. Okay, we'll get it nice and close to give you a nice pose. Okay, shoot! Spanguli will be back. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. This is our regularly scheduled program. What are you talking about? More Spanguli on Screaming Yellow Theater later. Yeah, Punk. Sorry about that. No April showers for Carlos May. Boom, boom, boom. Because tomorrow is opening day. Hit the team, boys. How do you like my Borwin umbrella, huh? <laughs> Borwin umbrella. Oops, sorry. Hit the stage end. Anyway, Swingoli again on Channel 32's Friday Night Fright. Yes, Borwin umbrella. Screaming! <laughs> Yellow theater, better never than late. Stay tuned, because later tonight, I'll be doing, just for you, a great new magic trick. What you do is you'll take, you'll see me do it, ten sticks of dynamite in your hand and light them with two matches, huh? What's the trick? The trick is lighting the second match. <laughs> That's the trick, yeah. Okay, and now... You get off. Not till the second movie's over. Another golden... Gooley Award! Ooh. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, another coveted Golden Gooley Award to another unheralded, unsung hero of the movie industry. Adorable. And now, the award for the best foreign role. The nominees are from Britain, the English muffin, from Israel, the bagel, from Denmark, from Danish and from Berwin, the Berwin, yes, Berwin, right. Berwin, and 
win the Kolachki, right? Right, okay. And the envelope, please. May I have the envelope, please? <laughs> okay. And the winner, <laughs> the winner is, let's see, the winner, uh, accepting for the prune Danish, Victor Borga. Let's hear it. Okay. Mr. Borgak will come up here and just take your Golden Gully Award. Was that a roller skate? Oh, we got to move that roller skate. Never mind, roll the movie. Or roll the skate. Vote for Sig, the for president. What have we got to lose? Vote for Sig. Will Sven Dooley be back? Will he sing again? Does anybody care? Uh, no. Wait a minute. Sorry. Wait a minute. Vote for Sig. Yes, Sven again. And we'll get back to our movie. Mel Torme drinks prune juice or the galloping Torme. <laughs> get it? But first of all, it's time for a coffee break. Yes, our crack Channel 32 crew is doing a great job tonight, really. All the time. Wake up, Willie. Willie, would you wake up? That's right. It is time. Fellas, would you like a sandwich, huh, guys? Yeah. What do you think? I thought so. Okay, shut up. Then let me call the combination restaurant and gas station. You sure, Alex, huh? The combination restaurant and gas station on the corner. Their motto is, eat here and get gas. <laughs> eat here and get gas. Hello. Hello. The female. Who is that? Oh, hello. It's uh, me. Who is this really? It's really me. It's Sven What is really. going on? Well, I'd like to order a couple of sandwiches for the boys and the crew. What kind of sandwiches have you got, huh? Well, we have peanut butter, sliced jumbo, white eggs, sardines, smoked salmon, tuna steak, salmon steak, liverwurst, American cheese, cream mm -hmm. cheese, farmer cheese, Swiss cheese, Munster cheese, pepperoni cheese, cheddar cheese, imported Danish blue cheese, bologna, spiced ham, ham bologna, olive pimento loaf, soaked salami, Taylor ham, hard salami, Genoa salami, boiled ham, capicola, Virginia ham, roast pork, roast beef, tongue, prosciutto, turkey, and Westphalian ham. Mm -hmm. uh, never mind, our lunch break is over. I'm, I'm, I'm Melissa. You say Daddy, Jerry G. Bishop. Now, wait a minute. I am Jerry G. Bishop. Show you. Would you stop that? Listen, roll the movie, and we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jerry G. Bishop. Would you cut that out, please? I'm Svengulli, and we'll be right back. Would you stop it the whole thing? Why got around here? People in the up. When acid is poured into his eyes, the source of one's vision soon dies. Then to gain this sight back on an evening that's black, steal the eyes from a corpse by surprise. <laughs> Like monsters, ghosts, and vampire wings. Don't be afraid, come closer. Like horrible movies, all drippy and drool. And horrible jokes, like me. 
Singuli. Give me five. How many you got? One, two. Give me two. I don't know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me reintroduce tonight's mystery guest coffin opener. Singuli proudly presents Flip Wilson, Harry Nielsen, Louis Belson, Ozzie Nelson, with Valentine Yanukiki, <laughs> as Bonnie the Cocktail Waitress, and listen, they laughed when they saw me in my tight swimming trunks, but when I sat down, they split. When I sat down, they split. Hold the movie. That's terrible. We'll be right back. Thanks a lot. Listen, I got a Wait, come here. There's more on Channel 32's Friday Night Frights. Speaking of morons, that was Figuli. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, swell. Well, anyway, I just wanted to say it's really exciting being here on the show. Where do you wake up? Huh? Oh. <laughs> well, yes, Sven Gooley will be back shortly. I taught, I taught a gift jockey. Or six sacraments for president. What have we got to lose? Vote for Sink! Okay, listen, uh, Svenguli again, it's time for the scare mail. Send in all the scare mail from this week, would you? I knew it, yes. Okay, well, listen, <laughs> we got more than one letter. Get out of here. Larry, would you bring in the mail? Larry the legend, please, from... W-I-N-D. Let's welcome Larry back. It's heavy, I know. Easy. I'd like you to help me out saying hello to all the folk out there. In radio land. In television and oh. radio land, wherever they are. Before we begin, though, I would like to thank this week's Screaming Yellow Comedy writers, Rich Coes from Northwestern. Hello. Hello, Rich. How are you, sweetie? Hello to Lenny and Sophia from Sandburg. Hello. We love you. Love you, too. And, of course... Monica Marco from Barrington. How do you like that? Okay. How come the short thing from over there? If she's a... Never mind. Monica, put it on. Whatever it is. Uh, listen, Larry, why don't we say hello to some of these great... Monica every week sends us blackmail. You get it? Right. Blackmail? Right. Okay. Well, say hello to... Which is eight blocks from Berwyn. Eight blocks from Berwyn. You're supposed to say Berwyn. Berwyn. You said it. Where's Berwyn? I don't know. Laura Lane. Laura Lane. Laura Lane. Laura we got here on actual size <laughs> scale map of Berwyn, Illinois. This was sent to us by Gene Christensen from Channel 44. Really? And he says, wish you were here. <laughs> I don't. Uh, Gene, believe me. This I'm glad one I'm is here. from Lester Mat Lester Lotnick. <laughs> Watch it. Yeah. Lester Lotnick on North Albany. Uh -huh. And finally, this is from Frank Miller. Does he have a joke? You ready? I'm ready. He says, I often wondered where my wife spent her nights. Then one night I went home, and there she was. Huh? What do you think, Larry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Listen. I do want to thank you for your help. I know you're on the radio right now, so how can you be here? Would you introduce the commercials now? Oh, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, sure, Sabin Guli, here they are, <laughs> the commercials. I taught, I taught a gift jockey. Uh, will you hush? I be a legend. <laughs> See more of Sven Gooley? Good. Good. Stay right where you are, okay? Huh? Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> That's time now for the Sven Gooley history quiz. Zelda, would you come in here, please? Yeah, honey. Yeah, don't, don't move your mouth till you talk. Listen, Zelda. <laughs> It's time to test your knowledge of American history. Let's see. Uh, what happened in 1776, huh? I don't know, but there was a hell of a party across the hall in 1775. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, how about a little song? What do you think? Uh, uh, how about Swanee River? Never mind, never mind. Here we go. <clears throat> I forgot the key. Frankenstein. After all that, he was only just a fiend of mine. Well, if it isn't Chubby Checker. It isn't Chubby Checker. Held together by some bolts and twine. Yes, I remember Frankenstein. Suddenly, he was half the goo he used to be. 
someone loosened all his parts, you see. In pieces, Frankie came to me. So we rebuilt him, but the blueprint was a blur. Hey, heavy, huh? So Frank's not a him. Yes, Frankenstein's a whore. Whoops. <laughs> Frankenstein. He was always just a fiend of mine. Held together by some bolts and twine. Yes, I remember Frankenstein. I remember Frankenstein. What do you think, huh? I say, what do you think, huh? Uh, how about Swanee River? How about rolling the movie and buttoning your lip?